my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have my lovely mother here with me. She's going to be sharing her hair story. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to be here with all of you talking about my hair journey. It's going to be great. So just ignore me. This is not my hair journey story. <laughs> I got my hair in a ponytail, El Natural today. This is about my mom, my mother. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Growing up, how was your hair texture? How did you wear it? Did you embrace it? Okay, so as a child, my hair was soft waves, I would say. Yeah, um, I think she had like a two-way wave probably from photos. Okay, two-way. And uh, just wore kind of long. And then somewhere like middle school, they came out with hair dryers. It makes me feel so old that hair dryers came out right that time. But um, we all kind of wanted to look like Farrah Fawcett, Heather Locklear. Mm -hmm. And so, like everybody else, then I started using my hair dryer all the time and then rolling it in like electric rollers on top of that. Gracious. So, yeah. So, at the beginning, you embraced your hair as a child. kid with the waves. And then once tools came out to change it, you started doing that. Exactly. Cool. <laughs> okay. In your adulthood, so like 20s, 30s. How did you wear your hair? Um, so in the 80s, big hair was in. Yeah. And my naturally wavy curl um, was popular. Yeah. And like you see my wedding pictures. It, it <laughs> we'll add them. <laughs> no, we will not. No, we will not. So. I was very much an 80s looking bride. Big veil, big sleeves, everything, but, uh, and big hair. Um, so I did wear a curl like that, but I still battled that texture. I still, I don't know, I just kept wanting to blow it out and then roll it in hot rollers. And that's how I wore it as a school teacher. Mm -hmm. um, what do you yeah. think made you want to do that? Do you think it was, what you saw on TV, do you, did you just feel prettier with your hair, more polished looking, or what was it? If it was popular, what made you want to change it? Well, then it became more popular, I guess you'd say. You know, we all just look at the magazines, we look at the actresses, and yeah, just that rolled kind of pageant-y looking hair was very popular. Uh -huh. And I did like it on me. I liked the body that it gave, and it was, I don't know, I just kind of did what everyone else did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about how you damaged your hair. Ooh. Was there a specific point that you feel like you really damaged your hair? Because I have one in my mind. Okay. <laughs> when flat irons came out. Okay, yeah. It ruined my hair. Yeah, it did. It really did. And I wish I had pictures to really show you. <laughs> but it was so damaged and I would still need to go get it say highlighted it was still growing but I was having gosh what's it called like really dead ends break it like breakage, breakage. actual breakage like yeah. missing hair yeah and like it was chunks yes it yeah it was but I would always watch you as a kid straightening your hair and you would mm. straighten it the same piece like over and over yes. again. You this know what I'm saying? Yes. No, we all did it. I did. And it it really dried my hair out too. Yeah. I can remember my hairdresser um, saying that when, after he shampooed it and conditioned it and up like your hair is like laying in the sink, he would be like, it feels dry even when it's wet. <laughs> But it, it was just so damaged from the yeah. blow dry and the flat But dry. But I want you to tell them about the time that you went to a hairdresser, because I went with you. It was in Gwinnett and you like, they like dyed your hair and it made it like kind of orange. <laughs> Don't you remember that? Yes. I feel like that really right damaged before we it. went on vacation. And um, you know, it was a little too blonde and so I asked for her to put some, you know, a good bit of like darker low lights in it. And it was all low lighted and to the, you know, red hair is gorgeous, but it wasn't like pretty. It was just, it looked orange, but like, yes. and, but, but which is, it just didn't look right on you. <laughs> it, 
didn't. And we had it, it wasn't like a natural orange. Do you get what I'm saying? Like there's like redheads and like on the orange side and it looks natural, but on her it just looked like bad, like marker, like orange. And she kept saying that my hair was so porous that that's why it like sucked up on And it probably did. The color, so. Yeah, Lots of damage. More embarrassing. <laughs> Lots of damage over the time. Okay. All right, next question. What made you wait until you are, how old are you? 57. 57. Be proud of that. I am. I am. I really am. What made you wait until you were 57 to start embracing your natural hair texture at this age? <laughs> okay, so really honestly, I wouldn't have. I just would have kept doing what I was doing. Um, I was doing better with my hair. I started realizing that products really do make a difference. Yeah, and I got tips do. from my hairdresser about how to flat iron less. And um, you know, it was it was doing better. But India kept saying over the last couple years, you think? I don't know, what did I say? You know, just mom, why don't you wear curly? I get my curls from you. And I would always say, India, it looks so good on you, and you're young, and your hair's longer, and, and it just looks so good on you, but it's not gonna look th that good on me at my age. I feel like that's what everyone says, though, about curls. Is it's that, true. Is that they say, like, oh, your hair's so pretty curly, but they don't want it on themselves. But they just say it to other people. They're like, oh my God, your curls are beautiful, but like, they're not gonna wear their, you know? It's true. That happens all the time to me. It's, it's very, very true. And so she, it was all her. She talked me into it. And as you saw on that video, I was very nervous about it. She will tell you. We got in a pretty big fight, I'd say, did. before that video. Yeah. Because. Yeah, she almost didn't do it. And I had to talk her into it. Yeah, I like was, I was just, I don't know, I was kind of dramatic. <laughs> but like. And I'm so glad it all. It, it all worked out. It all worked out for the best. I mean, neither of us handled it the best way we probably could have. But like, I just so badly wanted for you to like. Try it. Try and, it, be open and show. Because at, at this point in the game, like I'm pretty confident with my hair. Like even if it looks like crap, whatever, I don't care. And I love your hair. Thank you. But like, I wanted my audience to see someone who maybe they can, some people who can't relate to me can relate to you. And they can see like you're new to this because there's tons of subscribers, hello, that are new to this. And they're not confident in it yet. And I just so desperately wanted for you to like put like, yourself aside and just like think about them and be like a good role model for them and 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 try to try to embrace it and you did i did and you and know you did. i can remember <laughs> and again all of you were so nice with your comments and so nice. there was one woman i think it was on the instagram and if i responded i may have responded to someone else because i'm really really bad on um on Instagram. That's She's really bad, computer. yeah. Computer. But, um, and she was saying that her husband really liked her hair curly, but she just couldn't, she couldn't like get used to seeing herself that way. And I think over the years, you get used to looking in the mirror and yeah. seeing, you know, wearing your makeup the same yeah. way, your hair, and, and it's a big thing for women. Yeah. And um, hopefully I wrote back to her and said, you know, go for it, try it, and see if yeah. you like it. I'd love to see a picture, I can't remember her name. But, um, yeah. yeah, so what was the question? Okay, I, I feel like we answered it. Rabbit. Okay. How does your husband <laughs> feel about your hair? He likes it. He does like, he? He does. He likes it either way. Okay. But, um, yeah, he likes it. And I love it. I love it. I really, really love it. So, I've been wearing it this way every single day. Um, trying, I'm really, I'm anxious to try out, like, gels. I haven't put any gels. I've been doing, um. Cream products. Yes, so Diva Curl shampoo, conditioner, and the, uh, wave maker. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the, uh. A mask. Melt mask. into moisture, moisture mask. Love that product. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I'm loving it. So it's, it's very serendipitous, I guess you would say, because I really, 
you know, fought it and rebelled against my curls, and now I love them. Yes. And, you know, like, I just love them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So that's really, you answered the last question. How do you feel about it now? You love it, so that's I exciting. Really do. Do you I think really you're gonna do. keep it up, and then we're done? What do you think? Yeah, I like it. It's, it's unique. Um, it is unique. Yeah, I love, I love it. it. Yay! I love it so much. All right, well that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to us. Um, please leave your comments down below whether you're still struggling with your hair, whether you're loving it, whatever, just let's start a conversation down below. My mom um, will hopefully be, <laughs> hopefully be able to reply to some of y'all's comments. She does have a YouTube channel, and um, I mean, not like her own, but like she has an account, so she can like reply to y'all's comments if they're specifically to her. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I'll make sure she replies. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.